Hello again everyone, Trekworks here with you. Welcome to part two of our Polar Lights Classic Enterprise 1350 scale buildup. I wanted to show you what I'm starting with today. I'm working on this little fan tail area here <clears throat> that we see at the, uh, the very tail of the ship and this is actually the ledge that the shuttle base sits on. And you can see we've got these little marker lights in here that are um, going to need to be worked with so we can do some lighting on that. And uh, one of the problems that I noticed on this kit is that this little ledge if you look at it, it's molded right through the center of where those lights are. Now what my plan on this, I'm going to try anyway, is I'm going to try to uh, uh, take my Dremel tool and cut this area out here a little bit because the shelf of the actual, the floor of the actual shuttle uh, shuttle bay sits over top of this anyway, so you won't be doing any damage cutting that. And I'm going to clear this out from behind here just enough so I can get some an LED inside there, uh, inside the actual hull that'll uh, shine towards these lights. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do my same light blocking technique that I did. I believe from the back side I'm going to paint this black and then I'm going to um, tape those off really carefully and uh, we're going to see if we can get uh, light to pass through there and I'm just going to use some transparent paints to put in these little lenses here and hopefully they're going to light up in the colors that we like in the green and the red and I think the one in the center is supposed to be clear. And if that doesn't work I'm going to take my Dremel with a really small uh, uh, bit and actually cut these all out and try to uh, do it that way with some micro crystal clear but uh, that's a lot more work to try to keep those nice and sharp looking so I'm hoping that I can do this by clearing this back out here and lighting it and just uh, letting the light pass through there so we'll see how that's going to go I'm going to start working on it now I'll come back with an update in just a little bit all right everyone well it's been a little while and I've spent a uh, good couple hours here this evening and uh, boy what a bear this has been getting light to these windows back here with this shuttle bay in place is really really a trick let me show you if I can get a little bit of focus and let me kick my overhead light on here. Hopefully this is focusing for you and you can see I've got uh, three LEDs there from some warm white LED tape and I've got three more down here in the bottom. Uh, so I get kind of a cross angle effect on that. And what I wound up doing is I, um, I had to uh, grind away the rear half of that uh, connecting peg there so that LED tape would lay down in there flat. And I cut a notch that I showed you earlier for the LED tape to pass through that little bulkhead right there and still not lose our support for our engine uh, pylon brackets. So that came out pretty good, but um, the shuttle bay itself, I had to um, really, really hog that down on the side. I almost went through the sides of the outer walls now are almost paper thin. And then along the bottom side as well, where it connects to the uh, wall, I had to grind that and chamfer that whole edge off because... Um, the uh, light is, uh, ju if it, I mean, if that just barely sticks out just at all, it just completely blocks it off. And I mean, I literally grinded to the last minute until there wasn't hardly anything left of the outer wall of the shuttle bay, but it's going to be all right. I've got it blocked really good from the inside. I'm glad I sprayed all that with the inside uh, black color. Um, one thing I'll show you here, too, is I noticed this on the uh, uh, Polar Lights uh display model that somebody filmed on YouTube. It was on display somewhere at a Comic Con or something like that and it was a fully built model. It was uh, all lit but the uh, Bussards weren't rotating on it. And it's a short video but they do a kind of a pass around on the model and you can see this light gap here at the rear. I noticed that on both sides of that model so you can see that they had to do the same thing I did. They had to grind away quite a bit inside of this to get that to clear. Now that's a problem that I'll correct on this one. Um, after this is all assembled and that bulkhead is all in place and both sides are on I'll uh, probably go in there with some uh, canopy glue because it's fairly thick and you can put that in there and you can I'll use a q-tip or something wet and I'll smooth it out let it dry and then I'll come in there and uh, just touch that up with some paint and that'll take care of that light leak along the edge there so we'll take care of that problem then the shuttle bay door kind of covers part of it up too so uh, over here on this side I hope you that hopefully this is focusing halfway decent um, you can see that uh, I've got an LED right here at the center, and this is going to light up these little beacons. It's facing this way towards the rear, and I'm hoping what I'm going to get out of that is I'm going to get a little bit of light uh, to light this little center part here, that little uh, thing that's above the shuttle bay doors, and then a little bit of uh, light to come to this green um, dome that's on here. There's a... Uh, it's supposed to be tinted green. It's not supposed to be very bright, but uh, it's supposed to be a little bit noticeably illuminated, so... I'm hoping that that will cover the bases on all those and we'll get light to that just with that one bulb. If not, I've got this set up where I can put another bulb in there if I have to. I even had to grind. It's a 3 millimeter 
standard white bulb that was grinded down really, really far as close to the filament as I could get it so it'll clear the uh, ceiling and I had to take down the uh, top of the uh, shuttle bay. So squeezing lights into this is really, really something. Here's some more of the uh, work that I've done on it tonight. Here's the uh, end caps. Now what I did is I drilled all these holes out and then I put a black backing behind there and then these de details here are painted on. So I've always just absolutely loved those grills. I wish they would have left them on the standard uh, edition. The, I've liked them better than the ball sticking out on the back. Just thought they were cool looking. And then here's our uh, little piece that I talked about earlier. Um, let me see if I can get the light just right and turn this overhead light off. Uh, this came out really good. I'm really happy with this. Um, I don't want to glare it too much for you here, but um, you can see we're getting the nice uh, green effect coming through there and our red effect as well with the white light at the top. And that, all that is is uh, just regular old styrene. And I, I hogged out this little piece here in the back so that the light can be uh, get to it from the back side. I'll mount some LEDs here down in the bottom. Uh, just before I put the shuttle bay in and mount it uh, in the end. But uh, then I came back and I uh, uh, painted the outside of this with a flat black and then painted the uh, hull color on there. And then I uh, just came in uh, with a hobby knife and just scraped that paint out of those little uh, window markings that were there. Then I came back with some uh, transparent red and transparent green. That center window is supposed to be clear. And I uh, masked these off and sprayed it from the outside with that, and I think I really got a nice effect. It sure beats the heck out of trying to put little bulbs in there um, and then try to have them not bleed into each other. In other words, each one separated and, and blocked that close together. If you have the clear piece uh, that comes with the uh, lighting kit, this will be a little bit easier. But uh, you're probably still going to want to take and uh, cut this back edge out because of the lower part of that, or the, uh, the floor part there actually comes to the very center and it would block your uh, lights right across the middle there. So that came out pretty good. And again, once I get some LEDs mounted in that, that's going to help that uh, light right up. We don't want it to be overly bright, just noticeable. And what I'm doing on all the plastic windows here is I'm sanding these with 600. And I'm swirl sanding them so I don't leave scratches, you know, just like directional lines on them. Swirl sanding will give them a much more like frosted effect. And that's going to help to gather the light a lot more in this thing. Uh, I found that out when I did my Reliant a while back, that plastic that was included there for the uh, uh, planetary sensor assembly there on the bottom of the uh, uh, saucer. I was having a hard time getting an LED to make that light evenly too, and once I figured out that I, if I just sanded the whole thing, it just one LED made it all light up where I couldn't hardly any get, it, any light, get any light in it before. And I did some experimenting with this, and it really, really picks up the light, so... Um, just trying some, I have some LEDs kind of made up in little strips and I was just laying them in the hull around here and just experimenting and it's not going to take that many and if you place them just about where these square pads are that you can see that round two recommends, um, you're going to get the light you need. It's really not going to be uh, too bad at all with LED tape, at least in the uh, secondary hull here. Uh, looking at the neck a little bit too, it shouldn't be too bad. But here you can see a little bit of the color that I came up with on this. It's kind of an off-white, it's almost a, it's almost a, got a little bit of brown in it and it's um it's a I started with a gray and started tinting a little bit of a brown into it I matched this up exactly to the color that's on my master replicas enterprise and uh, I just have I always thought that that looked pretty pretty close to uh, screen accurate I didn't care for the color that it was uh, molded in it was just a little bit too bluish green looking for me uh, too gray and uh, and I've got some weathering uh, colors that I've made up to match the weathering that's on that master replicas model as well there's a uh, a little bit of kind of uh, dark tan mixed in with some light to dark gray and then a little bit of black on top to give those little streaks. And it just really blends in really nice with the color of the hull. So uh, so things are coming along pretty good. Um, I've already started to assemble the, set, the nacelles since I'm not going to be uh, lighting mine. Um, so that's already uh, drying and then I'll have uh, uh, tomorrow when I uh, start on this again I'll be able to uh, fill in the seam, or I've already uh, seamed them, I've just got to sand them all down and the uh, nacelles and the upper pylons will be ready to uh, put together. And then uh, hopefully I'll finish putting in all my windows and uh, the rest of the LED lighting on this part should be pretty easy on the secondary hull. And then I've got to bump my little, uh, there's a three millimeter bulb that goes on each side here for the ion pod and I have to run a wire for that. Uh, up and uh, through the neck because I'm going to have my little flasher board control that uh, blinking light there 
and that's going to be mounted up in the saucer. So, otherwise, all this wiring here is going to tie <clears throat> tie together and then go out the bottom to my switches. So things are looking pretty good. Uh, I really think I've got the hardest part of this over with, and um, just a little bit more to talk about <clears throat> the mod modification that I did there. If you can see this mounting peg, I actually grinded the back side of it off it completely flat and got rid of that rib against the wall so I could lay that LED tape down in there nice and flat. And I actually had to cut the edges of the LED tape as close as I could to the bulbs too to, to really squeeze it up against the wall. I'm telling you, you need to get every inch that you can get out of this. Now it's possible you might be able to use a you know a single LED or something, and I like I said I thought about that, and it might have been easier to do overall, but I wanted to use the warm white light all throughout on my windows because I just think they look so much more natural and they look more 1960s uh, like the ship did on the show than it uh, the, the bright kind of white fluorescent light that you saw maybe on some of the newer versions of these ships. So uh, using a regular LED back there, unless you maybe tint those windows a little bit you're going to get uh, kind of white looking or bluish looking lights there at the rear and you're going to get have the natural lighting and the rest of it. So I just wanted to try to match it. And um, again, this little light here, I think is going to, this little window here will pick up some light once I light the top of that uh, uh, shuttle bay. That's not even lit at all. I don't have anything hooked up in there right now, but that's all going to light up good like I showed earlier. So anyway, this is a lot of fun. I, I hope some of these mods will help you guys out. Again, everybody has different ideas, but when you start working and trying to fit the shuttle then you'll see the same thing. You'll see the areas I think that you're going to uh, come up with. Uh, this little, I notched this little thing out on both sides so that the wiring coming out of the back of my shuttle goes right through there and comes out uh, and it'll have no problem clearing there. I'm using that real thin magnet wire with, with all of this so uh, that should work out pretty good but there's pretty much uh, a reason why I had to do all that and you can see it even up in here I grinded quite a bit away on both sides and that's to clear the uh, LED uh, that's in the top of the uh, uh, shuttle bay facing this way and give it kind of a tunnel to get to those lights otherwise it's blocked right up against there too real tight so hopefully that's gonna work out I'm kinda worried about that too I may have to like I said I may have to come back and put another LED a little bit closer to the uh, to the rear here and try to snake that in there this is all this isn't glued or anything in yet so I can still work with all that but just getting this part right here I'm really really glad I got that part done so Anyway, uh, the next update will show quite a bit more done. Well, hopefully we'll get to the, uh, uh, we'll, sh we'll start showing the uh, nacelles being put together. And uh, I, hopefully by the end of this weekend, I, I'll have, I think I'll have the primary hull pretty much assembled. So things are going really well on this. Until we see you next time, everybody, happy modeling, and we'll catch you next time, guys.